YouTube, I'm your friendly neighborhood M Man 64 and I'm bringing you the next episode of Pokemon Black Redemption. In the last episode, we made our way through Chargestone Cave and Twist Mountain, got ourselves the fossil for Anareth, took down two seven two of the seven sages. Jesus, we did a lot last episode. For an episode that I thought we didn't get anything done in, we did a lot in it, surely. At least from what it seems like we did. Now, in this area of Surf, we can find some Pokemon if we wish. And we can actually explore this area. I think we could have after the Plasma incident, but I really didn't want to risk it, especially since my team wasn't too strong at the time. But considering we're in need of some levels, I figure, you know what, why not? Got some trainers over in the his house and some items too. Alright, so what can we find over here? Hello, Mian Fu. You are not worthy of my time. Even with a lucky egg, you are not worthy of my time. It's nothing against you, it's just you're terrible. Everything about you is terrible. You, on the other hand, are worth my time because you'll give me money. but I do want that item. But I think I'm going to end up having to use a Max Repel to, uh... I think I'm going to end up having to use a Max Repel to, uh... get through this, because there are some Pokemon we've neglected to catch. One in particular in the tower itself, and a few outside the tower. Uh, you know, you do what you do best, Visenya. You claw things. Until you rage at them. I don't know when you're going to rage at them. Hopefully soon. Galvantula! Oh, there we go! Hey, now we're getting close to seeing all the Pokemon. I mean, we're not going to see... Uh... Thunderous and Landorus. But hey! Level 54. No moves for you. But you did level up, Visenya, and that's what matters. You make Daddy proud. And I was dumb and didn't put out a repel. But yes, outside of Dragon Spiral Tower, there are a few interesting encounters we can get if we, now that we have the Super Rod. If you thought being able to catch a Horsey, Seedra, or Kingdra in the wild was one thing. TM63 Embargo, which prevents your Pokemon from... Which prevents enemy Pokemon from using items during battle. You will be shocked to find what Pokemon I have in store for you just outside of this tower. Alright, Visenya. While I would like for you to get the experience, it's going to be paltry experience, so... Not just because you're facing a cub chew, it's just the fact that... Wow, look at that. That's horrible. It's our Manitan. Alright, that's a bit better. Uh, da -de -doo -doo -de -doo. Tsunami, come on now. I have not taught Tsunami Earthquake yet because, honestly, I Bulldoze is hanging on me right now. But hey. I'm nothing if not flexible. Ooh, I should have used... Aw, oh, damn. It hopefully... Yes, you do have another Pokemon. Cool. Levani. Oh, even better. I want more money. So let's throw Skylar out there. Especially now that she's the weakest Pokemon on the team. By half a level, but still. It's something. Goodbye, Levani. See you in hell. And I was far from catching up to you. You are no ordinary person. Damn straight I'm not. Alright, so we got that taken care of. All the encounters over here are basically the same as they are on the other side, with, as they are outside of Dragon Spiral Tower, with an exception to the rule. Oh, of course. Of course, naturally, because I want to surf and catch a Pokemon. It ain't gonna happen now. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Dratini. You guys know my love of dragons, and it all started with the Dratini line. Unlike Visenya, who is essentially a one-trick pony with her relentless attack, uh, the Dratini line is interesting. They they can do a, a myriad of things, including having solid attacking and special attacking capabilities. As well as just being in... I just love the Dratini line. And while I am still going to stick around to using Visenya, I will have this Dratini in particular on the side in case it fails. In case Visenya keeps failing. Because there are there is a certain fight that I'm definitely going to need Visenya at her top form for. Not just Dratini. It is called the Mirage Pokemon because so few have seen it. Its shed skin has been found. Now, that is cute in of itself. But what happens if you find rustling, rustling, rippling water? If we're hope, if we're lucky enough to find some, I would be honored to show you guys. But somehow I get the feeling we are not. We are lucky to the... Oh, there you go. All right. Now, very slowly approach it. And let's see what we can hatch. Survey says... Oh, a Dratini. Oh. But at a much higher level than the one we recently caught. In fact, at a higher level than... Visenya. <laughs> okay. But no, in the rippling water, you can catch a dead Visenya. You can catch not only Dratini, but also Dragonair and Dragonite. A love you can catch Dragonite. It is another one of those. It's only available in certain areas, Pokemon. It's very rare, so don't expect to find one. I will try to find a Dragonair for the sake of argument. But, basically at this point, all I need to do is level Dratini up twice, and I have my own Dragonite. Which, again, like Aerodactyl, I am sort of tempted to use. But, that's just because I know these Pokemon all too well. And that might be a dead Zeus. No, no, it's not. Nice. Wow, I need to pick up some Pokeballs. I'm running a little low. Wow. Okay, fine. I hope you hurt yourself now. And you shed your skin. Perfect. Uh, do -do 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 -do. What are we going to do? Uh, da -da -dum -dum -dum. How about an Ultra Ball? Ah, I have an itchy eye. I get itchy everythings when I record. Oh, come on! You're a Dratini! God, this thing is about... I'm about to get swept by a Dratini. This is a new low in my life. Thank you. Goodness. I could call you backup, Visenya. You know what? No. I know what I'm going to call you. I'm going to name you after the Mad Queen herself. I'm going to name you Daenerys. Alright, so... I will be looking for one more Rippling Water to try to catch a Dragonair. Fortunately, I will not show you guys that, because I'm not that evil. Or show you the constant surfing around for it. You will just see it when I find it, so I'll be right back.
Survey says... A Basculin. You know what? That's a mulligan. I want- I deserve a mulligan for that. That's bull. That's bull. That's total bull. I deserve a mulligan for that. I'll be right back. Show me Dragonair! God damn it! <sighs> oh well. It was worth a try. It was worth a try, if I do say so myself. But there is one more Pokemon that we can catch in Dragon Spiral Tower itself that we neglected to catch. I think we tried, but we ultimately just could not find it, or we could not catch it, for whatever reason. And no, it was not Drud again, because we caught a Drud again. At least I think we did. Well, either way, we're gonna we're about to find out. There you go. There you go. Hello, Golette. How are you doing today? And I have no way of catching you. Not even if Visenya was still alive. I just realized that. Basically, I have to throw caution to the wind and pray that. Oh, it's ground to- Oh my god, I am so screwed right now. Um. No, let's screw it. Caution to the wind. Quick ball. Did not work. Oh well. Oh well. I guess we can just... Waste turns? Um... Uh, how about a dust ball? There you go. One, two, three. Ah! Oh! <laughs> we can't do anything to each other. I can't electrocute you. I can't use false swipe on you. Oh my God, I'm terrible. This is terrible. We can only beef up our our own stats, and Zeus can't even do that. Because I don't have any moves on him for that. This is horrible. I have to waste a freaking timer ball. Oh, there you go. I was going to say, I'm going to have to waste a freaking timer ball on a Golette. Not even use, using it on the team. Alright. I haven't talked much about the Swarm Pokemon lately, but that's just because they they really sharply decline in usability. Actually, they don't really have that much usability to begin with, but a few of them might interest you. In fact, let me pull up the list as I go to heal my Pokemons. Hey! No, I don't want to fish in here. I want you to heal my Pokemon! Nurse Joy? Get on it! Get on it, woman! Alright, let's see. On the routes that we've gone through so far... Farfetch'd, why not? Volbeat, Illumise... Uh, in the... In Route 4... That's interesting, I forgot Route 4. Uh, on Route 4, we could have caught Hippopotas in a swarm. Uh, Hippopotas is a generic ground-type Pokemon that has solid attacking capabilities, not much else. The only really annoying part about Hippopotas is the fact that it generates sandstorms automatically when it comes out. So unless you have a team that's geared for dealing with sandstorms or... In the case of Skylar, doesn't take damage from them. You're probably not going to want to use Hippopotas. Hippopotas. Alright. And I got nothing better to do right now, so let's just make our way out to, uh... Let's just make our way out towards where the mall is. Because that's basically what we have left. And as I battle a Pokemon, which is a Shelmet, 
let's see what's next. On Route 5, we could have caught a Smeargle. Smeargle's an interesting Pokemon. Uh, it can only... It simultaneously has the largest move pool and the shortest move pool of any Pokemon in all of pokemon dumb whatever uh it can only learn the move sketch leveling up and when it does that it can basically copy one move that your pokemon that your enemy pokemon uses so yeah it can learn basically any type of move and while its stats aren't the best it's decently fast so if you were considering looking, if you were looking for a Pokemon that could learn a specific type of move for you, I'd recommend a, uh, I'd recommend a Smeargle, to be honest with you, because they are excellent Pokemon for that. Like, I think the best moves to teach Smeargle that I could think of would probably be Spore, which in this game, only Paris, which as of this point, only the Paris and, uh, Almost, well, technically Shroomish can learn it, but it's at a ridiculously high level. Uh, only the Paris, Shroomish, and... Uh, the stupid mushroom that we saw. Uh, Fungus, there you go. Fung and Fungus lines are the only ones capable of learning it at this time. Which isn't the best... But hey, if you want to use a Smeargle for that, you can. Just don't don't teach it worthless moves. Don't teach it Splash. Don't teach it Double Slap. Don't teach it Comet Punch. Which is basically a glorified Double Slap. Alright, let's see. Uh, Route 6 we covered already. Route 7, we could have caught Centret. Though, for the life of me, I don't know why we'd want to at this point in the game. I mean, it's... I mean, it's usable as an HM slave. But it really doesn't have a lot of uses beyond that. So... Yeah. Eh. I don't know. Um... Route 8, the route that we were just on, the swarm Pokemon was Krogunk, a poison fighting type interesting Pokemon. It's not one of my favorites as it has a quad weakness to Psychic, but having a dual type of both Poison and Fighting makes it kind of unique. It can deal out Poison type attacks while also having strong physical attack with Fighting. It could be usable to you. Unfortunately, it being quad weak to Psychic is a hindrance among many other things. I'm going to head into the mall to do a little perusing and shopping. You're the shop I want to go to? No, you're not. Although I do need some hyper potions because I did burn through a bunch. Let's go with 26. And I know I can't get the TMs here, but I'm not interested in the TMs right now. I could get them later if I want to. Uh, let's get 11 Ultra Balls. Uh, how many Great Balls? Let's get 12 Great Balls. And I need a bunch of Dust Balls. How about 14? Keep, keep it at a relatively decent amount. Uh, let's get 12 of these. And 14 of these. Because we're not done catching legendary Pokemon. There is one elephant in the room that we have not seen, oddly enough, which is weird. Uh, I don't think I want any of the items actually over there. Uh, Route 9's uh, Swarm Pokemon. It's another split one. And uh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. They keep giving White the shaft with these Swarm, poke swarm Encounters. Uh, um, <laughs> white, you get Poochiena. <laughs> a basic dark type Pokemon that can learn Intimidate. It's decent, I suppose. 
Uh... Actually, do I have a Versus Seeker in this game? I might want to rematch with a few people. Make these fights more interesting. I have a Versus Recorder. And, yeah, I don't have... I don't have a Versus Seeker. Oh, well. Uh, Poochiana, it's just... <laughs> it, at, at that point, it's just like, why? <sighs> I don't know. In black, we can get Houndour over here, which is good. Uh, Houndour being a dark fire type Pokemon, I believe it's one of the few Pokemon that can learn Dark Pulse leveling up. If not net here, it's I know it can learn it in Gen 6 leveling up. At least I'm fairly certain it can. Either way, Dark Fire type, very fast, very strong in special attacks. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Sort of the equivalent to like getting Chandelure, except it doesn't have the the super special attacking capabilities, and the Route Swarm is still at Route 3, which is the Volbeats, and I'm pretty sure we got that, and, oh, I missed that one. All right, let's see. The latest communication network makes life pleasant. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm here for. Get past the bull and give me the crap. My ass! <sighs> Alright, here we go. Route 5! Okay, yeah, I was just there. I'm not going back there anytime soon. Okay, so we've made it back to Opelousid City. we basically covered everywhere, save for Victory Road and Route 10. Which is fun. Hey, let's go see that stupid bitch Iris and see what she wants. What do you want, Iris? Guess what? I can teach you the strongest Dragon-type move. Fun, huh? Want me to teach your Pokemon this move? Uh, no thank you. I don't want Visenya knowing Draco Meteor because she can't really benefit from it. I mean... Look at this shit. Look at this special attack. It's awful. 97. 126, 113, 116, 182, and 154. It is literally the worst. And hell, some of the ones aren't even supposed to be special attackers at all. But I don't know. Last but not least, while I will go back on to this route again, first, I want to hear the theme. We're not going to Victory Road, don't worry. I wouldn't subject that to you guys twice, so soon after another, but first I want to hear this theme. And lastly to talk about the Swarm Pokemon for this route, which is Tyrogue. A Pokemon that can evolve into one of three different types of Pokemon depending on its stats when it hits level 20. If its attack is higher than its defense, it becomes Hitmonlee. If its defense is higher than its attack, it becomes Hitmonchan. And if its attack and defense are equal, it becomes Hitmontop. That's pretty much all I had to say on the subject. This has been a very light episode. We did catch a few dragons. One of whom we named after Amelia Clark's Game of Thrones character. But I digress. Um, next time on Pokemon Black, we go see what, beyond, what lies beyond in the parts of Unova we have not explored yet. So until we meet again, my lovelies, sayonara.